All right, we're going to start uh, here with a graphical look at vectors. So we've kind of seen, we've played around um, with uh, matrices and augmented matrices and solving systems. But let's take a look um, at vectors from a graphical point of view. Before we do that, though, uh, we need to discuss um, some terminology. So we'll start with Rn. So you've seen this symbol the uh, fancy looking R. Uh, that stands for the real numbers and um, when you see a superscript like here with the N, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, indicates that you're talking about vectors. And so this, as I say here, you just read this as Rn. Okay, so Rn is the set of all vectors having n components or n elements, each of which is a real number. So from a um, set point of view, you can look at it like this, set notation. Okay, all vectors look like this, n components, where each one of them is a real number. A lot of times we'll just talk about R2. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in R2, the 2 indicates vectors with two components, so there you go. And there's R3, similar sort of thing. We've got three components where each one is a real number. So, for example, here are uh, three vectors in R2. You know they're in R2 because uh, they're vectors with two components. Each uh, component's a real number. And uh, here they're vectors in R3 because they have three components. Um, there are two operations that we need to know how to perform on vectors. The first of these is addition of vectors. So if we have two vectors, x and y, in Rn, then we can compute their sum, as indicated here. Okay, here's x, here's y, both have n components. To compute their sum, you just add uh, components that are in the same position. So first position, x1 plus y1, gives you the uh, first position in the sum, then x2 plus y2, and so forth to xn plus yn. So for example, if here's x and here's y, to get their sum, uh, 0 plus 2 gives you the 2 here, 1 plus 4, 5, and the negative 3 plus negative 2 gives you negative 5. The other operation that we uh, need to know how to perform on vectors is scalar multiplication. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, <coughs> scalar uh, multiplication of vectors um, is based on uh, the idea that you have a scalar, which is just a real number, a, a single number, that you want to multiply by a vector. And so the way you do that is indicated here. You just multiply that number by each element in the vector. So we get cx1, cx2, down to cxn. So, for example, um, here's your x, and you want to multiply 4 times x, then you just multiply each component uh, in the vector by 4. Okay, now with that, we can start to talk about a graphical representation of vectors, and we'll restrict our attention at first, at least, to R2. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, a vector in R2, uh, also called the plane, uh, you're probably familiar with that terminology, is indicated by a ray that begins at the origin and terminates at the point defined by the vector. So here's a couple of uh, vectors, and you can see how they look on a graph. Okay, so it's a, U is 2, 1, so we have a ray that begins at 0, 0 and terminates at 2, 1, similarly for V. Um, analytically, we know we can compute u plus v in this fashion, right? Just sum the like terms, 2 plus 1, 1 plus 4, give you 3, 5. Graphically, um, we use the parallelogram method. You might be familiar with this from your physics class or engineering or, uh, or maybe even like Calc 3 if you had that. So the way that works is you go to the end of... Uh, uh, one of the vectors and you draw a line that's parallel to the other one. Okay, so this line here would be parallel to V 
And then we do the same thing for the other vector. So go to the end of V, draw a line that's parallel to U. See, this line is parallel to U. And where those two lines intersect, that is the sum of the two vectors. So this vector here would be U plus V. And you can see that it's at 3, 5. <coughs> Um, scalar multiple of a vector. Um, I did a couple of examples based on those we were just looking at. 3 times 2, 1 is just uh, 6, 3, and here's a half of V. If you look at that graphically, um, 3 times U is a vector that's in the same direction as U, and it's just 3 times uh, as long. So basically, you got 3, three U's uh, stacked there. And so you can see that it corresponds there's 6, 3. And uh, 1 half of V is is uh, what you would think, 1 half of V. So you can see that it's a vector, same direction as V, but half the length. Um, we can add those two together. All right, so this is how we do it, 3 times U plus a half V. We already know how to do these operations. And graphically, Take our one half v, a line parallel to three u, and do similarly over here, and the resultant vector here is what we think it should be about thirteen halves five. Okay, so notice that you can scale u to whatever length you want. You can scale v to whatever length you want, and then add those two vectors together. And if you do that, then think about where the vectors would end up. Any vectors that you can scale u however you want, scale v however you want, and then add them together. And let's think about that. Um, so this would be any multiple of u, uh, any multiple of v. And for the moment, let's restrict our attention to positive multiples or non-negative multiples. Okay, so let's think, uh, assume that c and d are both non-negative. If we do that, then the vectors that we can produce or generate um, are here in this cone defined by u and v. All right? Because again, we can scale u to whatever length we want. We can scale v to whatever length we want. And then when we, add, we complete the parallelogram, then we can end up with any vector in this cone area here. Um, if you allow yourself to take negative multiples of u and v, um, then think about where those vectors would be in the plane. The easiest way, I think, to think about this is to, um, instead of thinking about taking negative multiples of u and v, about thinking of it as taking positive multiples of negative u and negative v. All right? <clears throat> and if you do that, then it's a similar thing as to what you just saw. Okay, so here is negative V, here's negative U, and so when you take positive uh, multiples of U and V, uh, or positive multiples of negative U and negative V, and then uh, add those two vectors together, you end up with uh, vectors in this region here. Okay, so um, other possibilities for, for um, uh, C and D. Let's think about that. Um, if we allow um, positive multiples of U and negative multiples of V, then we're in this yellow region here. And uh, if we allow positive multiples of V but negative multiples of U, then we're in this region here. And so what you see is that um, we can generate any vector in the plane that we'd like just by taking a multiple of u and a multiple of v and adding them together. Okay, so we're going to see in a little bit that this means that u and v span the plane. So we can take multiples of each one of those and add them together and generate any vector in the plane. That's what it means to span R2. All right, so I'm going to stop here for now, and we'll pick up this in our next video.